before you have reached the end of the hallway, said Marshall, to me, you will have found the solution. I was, says Stefan, on my way out of his office at the UCSD, Mayor Hall, 1987. We had just finished the discussion on my invention, beat wave driven free electron laser. I was happy to hear it. It meant that Rosenbluth, the Pope of plasma physics, as referred to by his colleagues, thought of me as the exceptionally smart physicist. Later on, I learned that Enrico Fermi, referred to as the Pope of Physics, Rowan Bluth's colleague friend, had used that line to cheer up his collaborators. Marshall N. Rosenbluth was the founding member of the Institute for Fusion Studies in Austin, Texas. He moved to La Jolla from Austin, Texas, in 1987, with Patrick H. Diamond, one of the most brilliant plasma physicists of my generation. Marshall Rosenbluth was the editor-in-chief for the book, New Ideas in Dhaka Mac Confinement, in my book series, Research Trends in Physics, published by the Institute of Physics Press, New York. 1994, as the proceedings of the conference, New Ideas in Dokumac Confinement, held in La Jolla, California, 1992. Keith A. Bruckner and Marshall N. Rosenbluth La Valencia Hotel, La Jolla, California January, 1991 Both, Rosenbluth and Bruckner, says Stefan, served as editors-in-chief for the books in my book series entitled, Research Trends in Physics, published by the American Institute of Physics Press. In the spring, 2002, says Stefan, I met Marshall by chance in a street in La Jolla. He told me about the conference honoring him. That was the last time I saw him in person. At that time the world community of physicists was saddened by the deterioration of Marshall's health due to the cancer. Unfortunately, I did not attend the conference as I was on a trip to Italy and Switzerland at the time of the conference. I talked, says Stefan, to Marshall, over the telephone on August 7, 2003. I keep my daily journal. I asked him, Marshall, how are you feeling? Very badly, he answered. That was the last time I spoke to Marshall Rosenbluth, the Pope of Plasma Physics. In 2007, says Stefan, I organized the summer school on plasma physics, honoring Marshall Rosenbluth. Most of the closest collaborators of Rosenbluth's attended the school, sharing their memories about Rosenbluth the physicist, teacher, colleague, and friend. Most of the closest collaborators of Rosenbluth's attended the school, sharing their memories about Rosenbluth the physicist, teacher, colleague, and friend. Among the participants was Evgeny P. Valyhov, a famous Russian physicist, the leader of the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, and Rowaldzi Sagdaev, a famous Russian-American physicist, Rosenbluth's close colleague friend. Marshall Rosenbluth's ancestors moved to the United States from Odessa, Russia, at the turn of the 20th century. Russian President Vladimir Putin and Evgeny P. Velikov, one of Russia's top scientists, in Kremlin, Moscow, Russia. President Putin salutes Velikov on the occasion of Velikov's 80th birthday, February 2, 2015. Marshall Rosenbluth would have been 88 years old on February 5, 2015. 
Velikovis currently, 2015, the chairman of the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, Council, a huge international project, aiming to provide the world with an unlimited energy via nuclear fusion processes. I gave a talk, says Stefan, on Rosenbluth's paper, Parametric Instabilities in Inhomogeneous Media, 1972, and the research worldwide in the parametric plasma theory thereupon. In Russia they say, when the Tsar builds, there is a plenty of work for the Mason guilds. I see the Rosenbluth 1972 paper in that spirit. It is rich in ideas, it is of a deep scope, and error-free. In his 1958 science paper, Edward Teller says that many of his young collaborators made errors, but Rosenbluth's calculations were always error-free. The Rosenbluth paper initiated a number of research programs worldwide concerning the character of parametric instabilities, convective versus absolute, especially in connection with the controlled thermonuclear fusion research. Later on, Rosenbluth continued research in convective and absolute plasma parametric instabilities with Chu and Liu, among others. I know firsthand that the Rosenbluth paper was of a high concern for the laser fusion program at the Lebedev Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences led by Nikolai Basov in the early 1960s, Basov and Oleg Krohin, in Russia then the Soviet Union, and John Dawson, in the United States, independently, proposed lasers in interaction with the fusion pellets, as a new thermonuclear fusion program. In the late 1960s, John Dawson was in the research visit to the Lebedev Institute of Physics, of the Russian Academy of Sciences, in the Department of Plasma Phenomena Theory, led by Viktor Pavlovich Selin. I was in Moscow on and off from late 1977 to mid-1981, and was a participant in the research on that subject, in the Lebedev Institute, Moscow, Department of the Plasma Theory founded and led by Viktor Pavlovich Selin. Similar work on laser plasma interactions and docomac confined plasmas was done at the MIT Plasma Fusion Center led by Abraham Bears, who had extensively studied the problem earlier. For the Elmo Bumpy Taurus and Magnetic Mirror plasmas, the convective absolute character of parametric instabilities was addressed at JCOR, Inc. San Diego and Kral Associates, Inc. San Diego by Nicholas A. Kral and V. Alexander Stefan. Rosenbluth and I, says Stefan, had been celebrating the same birthday, February 5th. And so had been Robert Hofstadter, whom I met in Moscow, Russia, in 1978. Now, on my birthdays, I never cease to remember to say, Happy Birthday Marshall, Happy Birthday Robert, in the high above. You, Marshall, do enjoy your knowledge on the solution of the controlled thermonuclear fusion problem. During his living years, the solution had been eluding him, and the rest of us, plasma physicists. It is still eluding us, the living plasma physicists. Now, however, Marshall knows it. Yet he cannot tell us, 